Ontario Ministry of Education in Ontario released guidelines with regards to in-person learning in the fall. Eagle News correspondent Yolanda Asprias with the details. On Tuesday, August 3rd, the Ministry of Education released the official guidelines in regards to restrictions and protocols that all Ontario schools must follow as classrooms are expected to fully open this fall. The document outlines both elementary and secondary school protocols for in-person learning. Elementary schools are expected to keep their doors open five days per week with 300 minutes of instruction, separating students into small cohorts or groups. Students are allowed to interact with other cohorts in cafeterias and libraries with physical distancing and must encourage. As for secondary schools, daily in-person learning will resume for five hours of instruction, equivalent to a full school day. School boards have been instructed to place students in no more than two courses at a time. These precautionary measures will allow for an easier return to online learning if needed. Extracurricular activities such as inter-school sports and clubs are also expected to resume in September. However, remote learning will remain an option for parents and students who do not feel comfortable with in-person learning. Online learning will also be prepared in case of school closures. On Wednesday, August 4, Minister Stephen Lecce announced a plan to improve school ventilation systems for in-person learning. As the announcement was held in a classroom, Minister Lecce was asked why reporters were not permitted to attend on-site for today's live announcement as a safety measure. Yet, students were expected to stand in the same classroom this fall. In response, this is what Minister Lecce had to say. Uh, where we're providing the school boards with the assurance and access to those um, HEPA filters to further improve air quality and to help keep these schools as safe as humanly possible. That is what we're doing today. And we're looking forward to September getting children back full time in person, which will help support their mental and physical health, which we believe is so important as uh, we look forward to getting them back. As of now, only children aged 12 to 17 are permitted to receive a COVID-19 vaccine, although not mandatory, as some public health experts warn of a potential fourth wave where the Delta variant is prominent. Minister Lecce was asked why mandatory vaccination is not being implemented for a safer return to in-person learning. This is Minister Lecce's response. The, the government has made a decision in the context um, of mandating vaccines that we're not going to do that. We'll respect the choices individuals will make. But at the same time, we can be strong advocates for vaccines as a safe way to reduce risk and to allow for a more normal return to class and to be, quite frank, a more um, uh, a more normal September and, and fall and beyond, really trying to ensure uh, that kids are as safe as possible for September. So we'll continue to urge everyone in this province to roll up their sleeve, get the vaccine. It is the best way by which we can put this pandemic in the, re in the rearview mirror um, and while respecting the choices individuals will make. In Toronto, Yolanda Spiras, Eagle News. We live in interesting times.